This next demonstration deals with radioactive isotopes. Here I have a radiation monitor and you can see projected on the screen that the radiation is counting the radiation in the atmosphere. Now what is radiation? Well, if you remember our discussion about isotopes, isotopes are atoms with different amounts of neutrons and therefore different masses. Now not all atoms or not all isotopes of atoms are stable. Remember, neutrons, the job of neutrons is to basically stabilize the nucleus. They're there to hold those protons together. If there's not enough neutrons, or sometimes if there's too many neutrons, that nucleus becomes unstable and it reacts. It, it releases particles in the form of radiation. So I have a few things that I want to show you that actually emit radiation. So right now I'm just holding this up in the atmosphere. And yes, the radiation comes down from all over the place. We get radiation from space and there's radiation from other things. You might be familiar with radon that happens in houses that you'd have to mitigate if there was a problem. Now, a few things that I have one of them is this little thing right here. This is called a mantle. And you find these things inside propane um, lanterns. Like if you were to go camping, these would be inside the propane lantern and you'd light them in order to get light. Now this mantle has a thorium isotope on it that's radioactive. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the radiation monitor up to my thorium mantle. And you can see that those radiation counts start jumping up higher and higher and higher. All right, another example of things that emit radiation is this Fiesta Wear plate. They don't make these plates anymore, although you might be able to see them floating around old garage sales or um, maybe Goodwill. The reason they don't make these types of Fiesta Wear plates anymore, or at least they don't use the paint on these Fiesta Wear plate, plates anymore because the paint they found had a radioactive isotope in it. So let me go ahead and hold this radioactive counter up to the plate. This would not be a good plate to eat food from because that radiation would get in you. All right, the last example of something I wanna show you is something you all should have in your house, and I hope you do. It is a smoke detector. If you look really closely, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but a lot of smoke detectors actually have a warning label on them that let you know that there's a radioactive material on them. Now, don't ever do this at home, but I, we went ahead and broke open one of the smoke detectors and found the little bead of radioactive isotope. Now this little bead has americium in it. And what this americium does, just like all radioactive isotopes, is it, emit, it emits particles. Now the smoke detector, using a battery, uses those particles to create a circuit. When smoke gets in between those particles, it blocks the circuit from forming and the smoke detector knows then to go off because there's smoke in the house and you need to get out. But let me show you what this little tiny bead does in terms of radiation. Notice that now it's jumping up by the thousands. Anyways, really fascinating. Radioactive isotopes, they're all over the place. Some of them are harmful. Some of them are just from space, but they're really important in our everyday lives. And, and sometimes they can cause harm.